Hello and welcome to the 22nd tutorial in the HTML Basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at the style tag. As the name suggests it allows you to add style to your web page. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 1. If you haven't there will be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there will be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. It's going to go ahead and open up the web page from tutorial 1 in a text editor. Okie dokie and for the style tag we actually put it in the head tag and it literally is just called style. I'm going to close it off as well and put this on a separate line and what we're going to do actually first of all I'll show you what the web page looks like. It says hello world and the text is black word it's going to add some styling so the text becomes red and that is extremely simple you just put body which refers to lit basically the entire web page. Oops, easy. Which in the, like I said, it refers to the entire web page. You can maybe put div if you want to, span, p tag. You can put ID and class names as well, which we'll be covering of the next few tutorials. And in here, you just put what you want to style or how you want to style it. I'm just going to put color, colon, or color, colon red, a semicolon, and that's it. You click save, go back to the web browser, refresh it, and now the text is red. Obviously, you can apply a different color. Plus, also, it's a little cool thing. If you type in hexadecimal colors, the loads of websites. I'm just going to go to the W3 Schools website, and you can get a hexadecimal value, which allows you to use colors but on different sh with different shades. Because obviously, we've got hash six zeros which is black but perhaps you want more of a reddish black which is hash two eight zero 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 uh, for example I would just put B8 uh, actually I will put put this one zero zero ff three three just to showcase this to you go right to text data and to do that you get rid of that first you want to put a hash and then you just want to put your hexadecimal value so save that Go back to the web browser, refresh, and there you go, it's that green colour. That's how you use a style tag, there is a lot more to styling than just colouring text. Um, if you just go to maybe w3schools.com, go to CSS, and here's quite a lot of what you can do. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at the ID attribute, and we'll have a separate tutorial series in a couple of weeks or so, which will be CSS related, so you can use the skills learned from the HTML basics tutorial series and from the CSS basics tutorial series to be able to create better websites. Thanks for watching.